good morning from the river. Day number one officially. Rolled out of bed, hopped out of the tent, and uh, gotten to witness this beautiful South American sunrise. My first South American sunrise in quite some time. Just watching that sun come up over the canopies is uh, a signal for hopefully a really good day of fishing. We've got three boats today, so there'll be uh, just two guys, or I guess myself and Scott. The other guys are gonna be in other boats. So we'll have three boats covering water here on the Xingu. I think today's mission is to explore a hidden lagoon and see if we can catch some of the fish that we slightly encountered yesterday and hopefully do a better job at it. We re-rigged a ton of stuff last night. New leader, sharpened hooks. I actually bring in one extra rod too, so in theory we should be all locked and loaded, but these fish are, are the ones that kind of hold the key to whether or not we have a good day. Regardless, it feels amazing. I slept so good. There is just something so magical about falling asleep, listening to the, uh, the forest around you, and waking up the next morning Getting ready to go absolutely crush some fish, but just want to welcome you guys out officially, vlog style, and uh, I'm excited. Let's do this. Let's go crank them, boys. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Get bit. Let's do it. We are starting off how we left off. We are fishing the same way that we uh, we left off yesterday. A lot of heartbreaks. Honestly, like, we were laughing about it, but sometimes you have to laugh to wash away the pain. Yeah, we cried when the cameras were off. <laughs> yeah, a lot of really big Troyero popped off, popped us off. I know it's obviously the goldfish. It was like also day one, and we were kind of like, this is crazy, like if they're popping off now, maybe we'll have more, more opportunity. That was a fish. But anyway, that uh, that aside, the goal still remains the same. Big wolf fish are on the agenda. Big pyar and literally whatever else lurks in these waters. And wolf fish. And wolf fish. That was so sick. Went right back in for a follow up. That's cool. Main target. Main target. Not the right size, but a, a good wolf fish for sure. I'm gonna bring this one over to our guide, Paulo. Yeah. I love how they follow up every time. I know. They commit. Me and John were talking about it yesterday. Pretty much every single fish that short struck yesterday came back and ate again. Yeah, that one would have definitely eaten the fly. Yeah. Oh, Maybe no acknowledgement. No acknowledgement. Double. Double. We got him. Big, oh, that's a big, giant. Big, that's big. a giant. Oh my god. Don't lose that one. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. It. That is a giant. Giant. You got this, man. Holy That is a big one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna keep mine on the water real quick. You know, dude, that is a big one. Trying to pull him down on the jumps. Is what they were telling us to do yesterday because we were losing so many. Woo! Woo! Oh my god, that is <laughs> Giant, dude. Wow. That was quick. Yeah. Oh my god. It's terrifying. You got this. It's all Absolutely good. Terrifying. You got this. Wow. Come on. Come on. Got him, let's go, baby. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> my heart is pounding. pounding. Right now. Oh my god, that is a good That is a good fish. Wow. Wow, we're like five casts since the morning, <laughs> starting just how we did yesterday. We have a double, too. Five casts in the morning, you have a giant. This is legitimately the most my heart has pounded on a fish in probably years. That is a good one. It's uh, eight kilos. Eight kilos, that'd be about Probably 16. Like, no, it's 6, 2. 17. 2. It's like 17. 17 pounder. 17 and a half. Wow. Wow. Wow, congrats, dude. That is an absolute mega. Wow, I mean, I don't have anything else to say to quite, that, dude. Dude, quite the size difference. It's crazy to think that you can have fun on a smaller fish like this, but that is really the true target species. They look different, too, when they're that big. I'm gonna yeah. send mine back real quick. We're send gonna get some off. really, really good shots of Scott's. Thank you, little Wolfie. Hopefully I upgrade today. See you later. This fish. Wow, dude. 
<laughs> Not a 20. <laughs> Pretty close. This fish is almost 18 pounds. Its head is like a, an alligator, man. It's huge. I don't think we saw one like this yesterday. This is so. this was a little bit of a class of five. Yeah, I don't think so. Just either. amazing to have this fish in the boat. Nice job, man. Surreal. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's go. I'm gonna try and get a couple shots of this guy. Look at their eyes too. We'll send him off. Just twisted the boga, dude. Gone. That is insane. The wolf fish was in the water because we obviously didn't want to keep a fish out of water. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to the beach to try to get some nice shots of him and uh, he just He literally opened up the boga on his head. That's his cell phone. That's well, crazy. Oh well. Oh well. Experience is still there. These these are hard these are hard these fish. These are insane fish. Hard fish to handle. Very hard. Even on a yeah. boga grip. That's all good. Um Bottom, maybe. There's bubbles coming up. Yeah. See that again? Little guy. 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 It's just, oh. They don't like they No, they don't. I lost another wolf fish. I'm really good at that. I am really good at losing wolfies. Program this morning is very similar to yesterday afternoon. Uh, just throwing these big blades. I think my spinnerbait's a little too heavy, but it's obnoxious as hell. It's definitely getting their attention. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh. That is fun. That is pretty cool. Way, way, I mean, if they like this, some much better bait to hook up on. Like wow, they like it. They like, they it. like it. On a musky inline. Yeah, it feels all right, man. It feels all right, actually. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, a pulled drag. Wow, it's a good fish. Holy hell. Not as big as yours, but a good one. Yeah. Good job. Eyes low. Wow, that was crazy. It's a big fish. It's a good fish, man. This would be my biggest if we land it. <clears throat> Pulling drag. Some drag. Yup. These are dogging type of fish. Not a lot of drag. Come on, buddy. Don't, 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 Oh my god, that was sketch. That was super sketch. Sorry, I had to hit you're you good, with a rod. Gosh. Can you get, this one's fighting hard. On the left side. Okay. Okay. This fish is crushing. Ready? I'm gonna bring it right to you. Got him. It's a good one. Definitely my biggest of the trip. Landed officially. Alright, I'm, wow. I'm gonna swing it, man. Keep the line a little tight just in case. Hang on. Yeah, you're good. That's tight. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, look what that fish ate. Let's go, bro. That's incredible. Thank First, you, man. Second cast on that bait, and John's like, I wonder if they're going to eat that. Oh, my gosh. Finishes the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. Wow, that feels good. This is actually kind of a sick opportunity. We can hop off on the beach and release this guy. Beach releases are always the best, especially with big, cool fish like this. We're going to hop off over here, make sure this fish stays in the water and get some epic shots. This is a fish of my dreams. So cool, we put him on the scale, he weighs about nine pounds, eight to nine pounds. A little more. A little more maybe, nine. yeah, nine or 10. Such a sick fish. They look cool, they fight hard, and there's quite a few of them over here. You know, it's not like one of those fish where you're, you're chasing after one bite for a whole week. It's like, we've had a lot of opportunities at big ones, small ones, and uh, this is a medium-sized one for sure, a good starting point. The difficult part is just keeping him pinned. Such an awesome fish. Thank you for grabbing him, Scott. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. We're gonna get some pictures and send her on her way. What an incredible species, man. Truly, truly underrated here in South America. We've documented this fish to the fullest quality trailero. It's uh, it just feels surreal to be holding this fish. I've seen so many videos and Instagram clips of this very species. 
And uh, to say that we're actually getting a chance to chase them is nuts, to say the least. So I'm off on that clear water. Back to the Jingu she goes. That is definitely the most docile a wolf fish has ever been. If, if, if only that 18 pounder was like that this morning, that would have been nice. Wow. Hey, put her there. Awesome job, dude. Thank you, Paolo. Let's go get another Sick, one. Sick, let's get another one. I gotta show you guys too what I caught that fish on. Absolutely insane stuff. This whole trip is about learning and figuring out how to catch these fish in the best possible way. So with that, we're doing a bit of experimenting with different lures, different leader lengths, everything. We're switching up. If it doesn't seem like it's working to the fullest, we're gonna change it. Although the spinnerbait was doing really good, it was getting a lot of bites, they, they had a really easy time throwing that bait, mainly because the spinnerbait, it's, it's basically a heavy gauge wire that is bent at a, like a 90 degree angle like this. And when that fish, that triura puts pressure and leverage on it, it slowly starts to straighten out and you oftentimes do lose fish. With that in mind, I, I wanted to throw something that could help remedy that problem and that being a musky inline spinner. This is like one of the best musky baits you can throw arguably. It basically has the same principle as a big spinner bait. It's got two big Colorado blades on here. It's got the, the skirt. One thing different with the spinner bait is that this has actually got three hook points. So this fish has three points of contact that it can get hooked. And when that fish eats that lure and starts doing those crazy head rolls and those jumps it's you know it's there's no leverage there's no way for that fish to easily pop that hook out because i've got a barrel swivel there so i don't know if it's the best way to catch these fish probably not but in that case it worked and the other nice thing about this too is it runs shallow it's going to run a whole lot shallower than those bigger spinner baits i'm throwing the spinner baits are awesome they do work good but I, I think I'm just losing a whole lot of fish on them. Like Scott was saying earlier, these fish are very similar in nature to musky. Like the way you approach them, the lures you're throwing, the boat side eats, just their true aggressive nature is, uh, is very contingent to the fish that we have back home in the States. But regardless, pretty good morning, nice start. Scott's got himself an absolute giant. I'm working my way up as well. This is amazing. I love this place. Oof. There's one. Not big fish. Rocked it, bro. <laughs> Absolutely rocked that. Oh, it's, oh, a, it's peacock. a peacock. That's cool. <laughs> That's why I hit it so hard. No way. Cool. Ate a spinner bait. Oh, there's one. Be a double. That's well, a tri euro. It's a double. That's a tri euro. Jump. That's a tri euro. That's a cool double. That is a cool double. Two different species. I'm gonna try and. I, I think I can get. Down. I think I can get. It. You tell me when you see him. I see him. <laughs> He's nice. Yeah, it is a good one. All right, we're gonna try and oh my get God. both of these guys right now. It's a good one. Wow, it's a good fish. Is it smaller than last one, maybe? A little smaller. Yeah, not, by much. not by much. Eight, nine pounder. He comes off, it's all good. Yeah. Nice crab, thank you, man. All right, switch me. Whew. Okay. True Amazon double. We got a peacock, the first peacock of the trip. Jingu double. First peacock. Nice wolf fish. Absolute madness. Not too many places where these two crazy fish species dwell in the same area. Send them back. See you later, P. I'm gonna get mine unhooked and we're gonna also release her. So cool. This fishery is insane. This fishery is so insane. Blows my mind. And for the release. Bye bye. I caught a 10, a 12, and a 16. My, bo bo both trips, like all combined. Or maybe. I thought a... the second trip you had more. The second. You have like a spot where you pounded away at double digits for a little bit? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got three. It was like a 10, 11, and a 12, all on the uh, chopper. And then the following day is when Louis took us to that 16 spot. There's one. Oh, peacock. peacock. Nice. My first peacock. Oh, he's. I've wacky wormed him. Yeah, he ate that front travel and you just got him with the back. Yeah. Nice, new species for me. Very yeah, that's cool. That's a cool looking peacock. Look at this guy. We've got him a bit hooked. We got him hooked a little lame, but that's all right. It's the, uh, they eat it here by the pack pen. Yeah, they, they, they throw their whole weight at it. Cool. I got him. You don't need to bug your grit? No, I don't need to bug this with this guy. That is a cool looking peacock. Very cool. Wow. Really distinct pattern. That's that one has more than the first one that I got this morning. So technically, this is the first time I've ever caught a, a peacock of, of this breed or, uh, or genetic makeup. Very cool, he looks a little bit different. One way that this fish stands out to the other ones, right off the bat, is look at the, look at the tail. Half the tail is almost blue with white spots, and then the bottom 
is what you would traditionally see in a peacock bass. Nice colors. And uh, yeah, overall, just a little bit more pale, not as like bright, vibrant green, but fought like a peacock. Smells like a peacock. Tastes like a peacock. Looks good. Send him back. Goodbye, PP. There. Here we go. Fish. Right. Yeah. Whatever the boat was in there on the jerk bait. We've had bad luck with these so far. So. Oh, it's massive piranha, actually. Piranha? Massive piranha. Oh, sh. It is. Wow. Wow. Good that's, piranha. That's honestly just as cool. Oh, my gosh. That's all. Awesome. Dude, you've been slaying the multi speed. Slaying. That is the piranha to see. Do not get bit by that. That'll absolutely take your finger off. Okay, thanks, man. Wow, that is. Look at that creature. Dude, that is remarkable. I feel like peacock bass and piranhas are the two fish that people associate the most with the Amazon. And that's probably one of the biggest piranha I've ever seen in person. Yeah. Well, I've caught several species of piranha in the Amazon. This is, this is definitely the coolest one. Look at its head. The orange is insanely vibrant. Not only do they have sharp teeth, but look their jaws are very powerful. Look at, the, look at the teeth. It is like a razor. Absolutely cut right through bone. It's the mixture of power with the jaws and then just those, those freaking killer. We just asked Paulo, our guide, what to do, and he was saying if we wanted to release it for the video that we could, but he also said they're really good to eat, so I think we're gonna take this one back and try it out later. Check out another species of the Amazon. Pretty wicked. That's it. Back at camp, a bit of a mix up on um, what the plan was for today. I think we were supposed to go send it deep into the woods and we ended up not doing that. We basically fished again very close to camp. No complaints though, because the fishing was good. Scott got a 17 pound tri -euro. It was what, nine kilograms? Eight, eight kilograms, so we have to do the conversion on that. Of course, us Westerners have no idea how to do that. Finally landed my biggest, hoping to upgrade that one, and I had some shots at Payara, but Payara, we're doing Payara things. It's kind of, we're just talking through, like people get so hyped up over Payara, but in all reality, they're like, not only the challenge, but it's just like, they can be very frustrating. It's not one of those fish like peacock bass where, you know, you're gonna catch like 20 of them in, in a session or 30 or even more. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of fish and miss a ton of fish before you even get the opportunity. And once you get that fish, you have to be super careful with them. And it's overall difficult. I will say though, optics wise, the craziest looking fish you can catch in this river period. Nothing like those teeth. Wolf, wolf fish are a close second, but the payar with the teeth like this, absolutely insane. And I understand why people dig them, but they're difficult, man. It's hard to dedicate a whole lot of time. Uh, it'll drive you crazy. But we're back on land, gonna grab some food. We brought home uh, one of the piranhas that Scott had caught, so we might actually cook that up and eat it for lunch, or if not lunch, dinner. I'm writing down some ideas in the notebook. When I'm here, I wanna try to make the fullest of the sun, so. I think there's some cool things we can do other than obviously chasing after the wolfish every single day. That's not what I want to do. I am, I will say this and repeat this hopefully for a foreshadowing moment, I am after a 20 pounder. I would love to catch a true 20, which would mean I have to catch a fish twice as big as the one I caught this morning, which is mind bending to think about. But anyway, the reason why I want to turn the camera on is I'm gonna show you guys one of the more popular drinks that you might be slurping on when you come down here to the Amazon. Hopefully you guys get a chance to go on a trip like this as well. This is uh, Gorana. It's uh it's the nectar of the Amazon. I believe there's some significant amount of caffeine in here, but it's basically like a soda. Um, I also don't drink soda. I don't drink Coke, I don't drink Spike, but I make an exception when I come down here. It's like Scott and I's favorite. And for whatever reason you can't find in the States, if you're from Brazil or South America and you know of a place to, uh, to find the Guarana, if you're a Guarana plug, shoot me a comment. This stuff's really good. What would you say a Guarana is, like a nine out of 10? In the jungle, it's a 10 out of 10. So we're gonna sip on this, have some food, get recharged, and hit the river hard this evening because it seems like the bite really starts to amp up after 12 p.m. But uh, here's a nice score on cheers. Let's crush some food, keep cranking. For lunch, we got the staples, beans, rice. Seems like it's what comes with every meal. And we've got um, Corvina, steak, and just some accessory salad, stuff that I usually stay away from. I like. I like the meats. And then this is, uh, I already forgot it. Farofa. Farofa. It's, it's like ground up. ground up yuca. 
No. Ground up cassava. Cassava. Yeah, ground up cassava. It's really good. Did you guide there? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. For, for what? Whoa, eel. Holy f Two. Yeah, but he came up like this. Yeah. Mine, when I, when I saw it, was going straight down. What the f That was crazy. There's a lot of electric eels in here, too. Like. Holy f Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Good one. Good one. Yeah, it's a good fish. Good fish. What is this? I don't know. This does not feel like... This does not feel like a tri either. Big head shake. My god. I don't know what it is, dude. I don't know what I have. Yeah, it's a tri Oh, good fish. fish. Good fish. Thanks, man. Thanks. Finally. It's a good one. Heads up. Get him right to you. Nice. Thank you, man. Whew. Good fish. Broke the wall. I'm going to put those other bogus yeah, in them. That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Another 10 pounder. Another 10 pounder. Nice. Let's go. Another 10. I just lost my uh, my favorite inline spinner, my musky spinner, that all blue and uh, and yellow one. But made a quick little adjustment, switched back to those spinner baits that uh, Buddy Jay made in New Brunswick and got bit. It's been pretty slow. It's been pretty, pretty mundane. What the hell's going on here? I got a bit of a mess. There we go. Hook is out. We've got our triuro. Dude, that is such an awesome fish. Another 10 pounder. Good, good bite. Unbelievable. They're uh, they're pretty unique fish. Big eyes, giant mouths, tons of teeth. Prehistoric, man. Prehistoric killers. And time for the release. Look at that fish in the water. Man, they are mean. Super freaking scary. Back down she goes. Whew. Don't think so. It was a, a boil. It was a little, a little bite. Plus the boil is huge. It's not that boil isn't as big as that first thing. Yeah. I don't think a five pound fish would do that. Find out. We're about to find out. It's oh, it's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. It's a nice one. It's so gray. So gray. You might come off, which is all right. Oh, that's a good fish. That is so sick. Well, I stand corrected. Yeah, it was Bigger than I thought. That's for sure. Bigger than I thought. Okay. So much fun. My gosh. Look how, how gray that one is. It's yeah. not even brown. Oh, my spinnerbait is dusted. Buddy dusted that spinnerbait. Got him. Obrigado. Thank you, homie. Nice fish. Probably about a seven or eight, seven or eight pounder. Well, wow. I stand corrected. I thought it was a little triuro, and uh, Scott's like, no, that's a good one. And saw the wake. This fish literally bit like three times. That is a beautiful thing about chasing these wolf fish is they give you multiple opportunities if you're a dusty angler like myself. And uh, you know, any fish that's that aggressive that's going to come back multiple times is going to be something worth catching. Look at the top of their heads. Too. I don't know if you guys have gotten a chance to Man. see that angle yet, but yeah. They are literally hard heads. Well, this one's a bit lighter too. Very unique. Relax, buddy. I'm gonna send this guy back. They are so aggressive, dude. Ready, killed? Back in the water she goes. <laughs> well, second half of the day going a lot slower, but our guide has put us in an area where there is clearly less fish, but the quality is there. And while we're not getting bit like every five casts, uh, it's one of those situations where we're gonna get bit and it's gonna take like 40 casts, but the bite's gonna be pretty good. That was a six pound fish. The one prior, probably close to nine, 10, something like that, another double digit. 
Like double digit, any fish is, is, is solid, especially a triuro. I still just can't wrap my head around there being potentially a 20 something plum fish in these waters, but if we keep doing what we're doing now, there's a very good chance we, we find them. You know, we played around with a lot of different stuff this trip, or at least so far, and the blades are the deal. You know, these, these big musky and, and pike and uh, snakehead spinnerbaits are the way to go. Scott's actually throwing a spinnerbait specifically designed for snakehead. And like I said, I got uh, Jay, who lives in New Brunswick, to tie this one up. One thing you'll notice with both these, while they look a little bit different, they both have heavy, heavy gauge wire. And uh, even so, with that heavy gauge wire, they're bending it straight out. It just doesn't matter. But it's, it's a fun technique. Basically just kissing the bank with these big blades, slow rowing it back. It's not an aggressive like twitch, twitch, twitch pause like you know sometimes you do for peacocks or payara. Um, these fish are lethargic until they bite. And then it's just absolute freaking mayhem. So let's keep cranking. Good, uh, good bites and we get another one. Right now, all the way up to like October is amazing. When the weather's shit. Yeah, when it's gonna be outside this one time. Yes. The, the heat. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stay down, old girl. That's a good one. I'm right to the right. I think it's a good one. Oh, yeah, it's oh, a giant. Yeah. One. It's a oh, it's a giant. It is a giant. That'd be my biggest. Holy sh. That's a big one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do not jump. She wants to jump so bad. Oh my god, she got Just spit it. Uh, that fish played you really well there. Yeah, that one kicked my ass. I kind of deserve that. That'd have been my biggest. I suck. <laughs> like low teen? Yeah. Was there a teen or something? Yeah, he's a good fish. Absolutely <laughs> too. Woo! Running on his possible. Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I saw that. Missed it? I mean, it hit, but it didn't Wow. Wow, that was a big one. Yep. Holy. Got him. Got him. Got him. Big fish. Giant. Giant fish. Big one. Big. Big, 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 big. big. Oh my god, dude, this huge. is a huge one. Huge. Like, I don't know if I should let this fish go anywhere, honestly. Oh, he's gonna do whatever he wants. Oh my wants. god. This is a big one. Holy f it's a giant. Woo. Oh wow. my f so bad. Fingers crossed. So Fingers fast. crossed. Fingers crossed, man. This is wow, a big one. Wrong. <sighs> Holy sh Oh my god. This could be the one we're after. It is the one we're after. Holy Second. sh Holy Holy This thing is kicking my ass. Oh. This has been sick. Oh. Head no, no shot. No. No shot. No shot. No shot. Hang on. No, not open. Get him. Holy f boys. Oh my Dude, look god. Look at how he's hooked. Oh my god. He's grab, his, grab his gill. Look at how he's hooked. Skin hooked. Oh my god. Oh my, how did that not I don't know. Off? You got the boga though? Three, two. Holy sh. Three, two. Oh my god, dude. That is, it's a 20, dude. That is a giant. Open him, <laughs> open him up. Take oh it off my yours. God. Take it off mine? Yeah, take you it off. You sure? Yeah, he's in the boat. Oh. Skin we did out. it. <laughs> how big is that? 21. No way. 21 pounder. 21. <sighs> Holy wow. sh. He's barely hooked too. Look at that, watch. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. <laughs> How do, I went from a 10 to a 21. <sighs> well, this was one of the goals for this trip to the Jingu. Catch a 20 pound class fish. We really worked our way up slow. We definitely, I don't think I've ever hooked anything this big this trip. Pretty ridiculous.
What a pinnacle moment. Already happened on day number two. This is Scott and I's goal to come down here, not only catch these triuro, but then to catch one of this caliber. It's a big fish. Once you get past that 20 pounds glass size, then, I mean, you're dealing with a true beast. We uh, hopped off the boat and into the beach just to get a really nice perspective of this fish in the water. Oh my God. This is it. One last look at our 21 pound triuro team effort on this fish. It's, uh, it's not possible without two anglers here. Scott, this is incredible, man. This was his idea to come and experience this fishery in the Jingu, and it's safe to say I think he'll be coming back. Let's get this guy back in the Amazon, though. She, uh, she deserves to live. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. That does not even seem real. <sighs> Put it there, man. Congrats, bro. Whew. That was insane. Day two. Day one. Already achieved most of what we came here to do. Basically day one. 18 and 21. I mean, that's all we could ask for coming here. I'm speechless, dude. And we can just go do it again. Let's go do it again. <laughs> 22 pounder. Oh, put it there, Caleb. Unbelievable. big triuro nut has been acquired. Simply cannot describe what that feels like. To see that fish in the water right by the boat, it sent a feeling that washed over me that I've never felt before. Like, just the idea of seeing a fish online on Instagram, a fish that honestly not too people know about, right there in front of you, is the craziest feeling ever. And then furthermore, getting a chance to land it. 21 pound fish, absolutely insane. We uh, aren't done though, we still have so much daylight left and here in the Amazon we don't want to waste a single moment so we're posted up in the middle river right now we're going to soak some bait we're going to throw uh, some live bait those little uh, eels that you guys saw us throw yesterday not eels sorry they're clowns. a knife fish yeah they're like they're a, not clowns they're not clowns definitely not knife clowns. Fish. basically knife fish yeah big check mark huge check mark off of the tri arrow we're still going to chase after them but I think you know tomorrow on the remainder trip me personally I'm going to chase after some more diversity but regardless, let's keep fishing. Why not? Just because we've got a big fish doesn't mean we're gonna stop. Oh, that guy's done. Did you get hit? Yeah. Uh, hit again. Oh, there you go. We had it. Uh, or, see, that looks like a night fish. It's pyara. Oh, it's a pyara. Is that both of this pyara? Oh, that, yeah. I forgot they used the net for that one. Bro, first bite. Stuck him. Crazy. I guess I went over <laughs> <That's> 35. <what> <laughs> this kind of sums up how savage the Amazon is. We just got a, uh, apparently it's a different species of pyre. It does look a little different. The teeth seem to be a little bit smaller on these guys. Still pretty wicked. But we were about to let him go and Paul, our guide, told us to use him as bait for pure Eva, so. Crazy. We're gonna take one of the most wicked predators in the universe and just chop it up in half and put it out for another one. It's crazy to think that fish is not at the top of the food chain. We're yeah. gonna feed him to something bigger. Hopefully something absolutely crazy comes with it. Has he caught him? Did you ask? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was gonna say it'd be nuts if he hadn't caught one. There you go. Oh, catfish for sure. That would've been sick. Fell deep. Yeah, that. I had left that day. I was thinking so far out there. Uh, it's, 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 open, it's 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 open. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, Let it go. It's official. We've crossed off a major bucket list fish today. It's crazy to think. This is our first true official full day down here in the Xingu, and uh, we made it happen. It's gonna be weird to not chase after wolfish because that's kind of been the, the real target for the past day and a half, and they are so much fun. I, I love them. We might go back 
and, and pivot and chase them later on the trip. But really, in my opinion, it's time to focus on some new stuff. I believe tomorrow we're going to go on a major send. What it sounds like is on the agenda is a boat ride to the bank, and then from the bank we're going to take about a 45-minute long portage on foot to a isolated lagoon. And in this lagoon is a little bit of everything. We have the opportunity to, of course, maybe catch wolffish, peacock bass, which we really haven't targeted much this trip, and then a myriad of other really interesting and cool fish species that call home to the Amazon rainforest. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked to try something different, to get off the boat for a bit, and to fish some new waters completely. We're not technically fishing the Jingu tomorrow, but we will be fishing uh, something that is separate from the major system. But uh, I'm so tired, like, it, it's crazy how much this, this fishing will drain you. It's like not even, 8 p.m. and I'm wiped. But gonna rig a few twigs up, take a shower, get ready for yet another mission tomorrow and uh, make some more memories. Feels good. We've got a couple more goals and bucket list fish to cross off and hopefully we make that happen. But for now, wolf fish done and dusted. See you guys in the morning. That was so disgusting. Is that a pee? Oh my God, dude, keep going, keep going. Oh!